What it do, y'all? It's your boy. I'm blast, man. Hey, new ratings for running backs came out, man. And I can tell you that I agree 110% with these ratings, man. I really like the way, I really like the top five, man. The top five running backs, they deserve it. They earned it. It is much deserved. There's only one problem that I have, and I will get to it as soon as we jump right into the ratings, man. But once again, subscribe, like, and comment down below at what you guys think about the ratings so far. Not just about the running backs, but about the quarterbacks and the rookies. So let me know what you guys think about that down below. Subscribe for more Madden 15 content. Now, let's jump right into these ratings. Coming in at number one is going to be Adrian All Day Peterson, baby. And this is what Moore has to say about Adrian Peterson. Even in an off year, All Day AP is still the best in the game. 97 speed, ranked fifth among halfbacks. 97 agility, which is ranked fourth. 97 acceleration, which is also ranked fourth. 95 elusiveness, ranked third. 96 stiff arm and 88 strength. Uh, leading uh, the strongest running back in the game right now, man. 88 strength means you should have hand the ball off to Adrian Peterson all day long. But one stat, man, one stat I want to see is his carry rate, man. I know AP is known for his fumbling, but that was five, six years ago. He had nine fumbles one year, and I think he went on a five fumble spree the following year. But after that, he had one fumble the next year, uh, one fumble the following year. And he's averaged about three fumbles since then. So, I mean, Adrian Peterson is not that much of a fumble machine anymore. He had a history of fumbling. But I would like to see his stat change, man. I would like to see that carry go up. But once again, I don't know, man. That may be an equalizer. So, with that being said, let's move on to number two. Number two is going to be Shady McCoy. LaShawn McCoy, 97 overall, man. LaShawn McCoy's 99 elusiveness, which is tied with Jamal Charles, ranked first in the NFL. 99 agility, which is ranked first. And 98 acceleration, which is ranked first. Makes Shady a very dangerous man in Madden 15, man. Shady McCoy deserves those stats, man. He put the team on his back last year. He was their workhorse. He did it all in the passing game. He did it all in the running game. LaShawn McCoy was an absolute monster. Well-deserved stats for Shady. I cannot be mad at his stats. I, I honestly can't, man. As much as I want to, uh, I can't. I, I didn't want to see too high of a stats for running back, but Shady McCoy really deserves these stats. And coming in at number three, right behind, you know who, Shady McCoy. You know who coming up next. Jamal Charles is up next, man. Jamal Charles really deserves to be number three. He really needed a stat boost. He was good. He was injury prone um, back in the past Maddens. And he just never got the recognition he deserves. And last year, he had his first full solid season, man. And Jamal Charles came out firing. Jamal Charles is now tied with Chris Johnson as the fastest halfback in Madden 15 at 98 speed. All right, Jamal Charles is also the second-ranked pass catcher for halfbacks with 85 catching, and I can't forget to mention 99 elusiveness and 99 ball carrier vision. So Jamal Charles, he's an absolute monster, man. The ball carrier vision, not a big deal to me, but he deserved it. Well-deserved Jamal Charles. Coming in at number four, Matt Forte, a 95 overall rating. Matt Forte is not the fastest or the most powerful back in the game, but there's nothing he can't do. His 91 speed, 92 agility, 94 acceleration give him nice physical measurables, and his 96 carry, which is ranked second, and 84 catch, which is ranked third, make him an every down back in Madden and in the real world. Uh, Matt Forte is an absolute beast, man. He deserves it. The wide receivers that he's playing with, he doesn't get to touch the ball as much as he should, but he still touches the ball a lot, to be honest with you. Um, but I think he'd like to touch the ball more, and because of those wide receivers, I think it opens it up for Matt Forte, which makes him, um, I think, a little overrated, but he's still good, still deserved. I still think he's number four back in the game. And coming in at number five, Beast Mode. <laughs> Beast Mode comes in at number five with a 95 overall rating. Marshawn Lynch, a.k.a. Beast Mode, boasts 99 trucking, which is ranked first in the game, 99 stiff arm, which is also ranked first in the game, 
and 97 carry rating which is also ranked first in the game in a nutshell mr beast mode will run over defenders and never fumble now this is where i have the problem man marshawn lynch and uh, adrian peterson have dropped the ball the same amount of times in the past three seasons why does marshawn lynch get the highest carry rating in the game shouldn't that be shouldn't it be equal I mean, I'm just saying, it's just weird to me how they did these stats. I don't know how they came up with the carry stats because AP used to be a fumble machine. He is no longer a fumble machine, but when he does drop the ball, it turns into a big deal because we all go back to, oh man, that nine fumble season, which is ridiculous. But at the same time, him and AP dropped the ball at the same time in the past two years. Same amount of times in the past two years. I just don't see how he deserves the highest carry rating. If anybody deserves the highest carry rating, it should be LaShawn McCoy because that dude never drops the ball. I think he had one fumble last year, uh, one fumble the year before that. I mean, LaShawn McCoy is the one that should have, have the no fumble clause uh, in, in the game. You know what I'm saying? Even though he is small, he does take a lot of shots. I just don't see why Beast Mode should have the highest carry rating. It should be LaShawn McCoy because LaShawn McCoy does not put the ball on the ground, especially for a man his size. But... All in all, other than the carry rating, I think they could tweak a little bit. I think it is the, the, the ratings is on point. I do see Le'Veon Bell moving up in the ratings uh, compared to last year at the end of the year stats uh, ratings. Um, I want to see him move up. Frank Gore, I can see Frank Gore, low 90s, you know what I'm saying? 92, 93 range, I can see that happening. Um, Alfred Morris should have a low carry rating as much as he put the ball on the ground last year, but he was still a beast, so I can see him with a 92, 93 rating. So there's a lot of other running backs out there, man, that I would love to see their ratings for. I can't wait for the game to come out, man. Once again, leave your comments down below in the comment section and let me know what y'all think, man. Don't forget to subscribe for more Madden 15. It's your boy, I'm blessed. I'm a Holla at y'all later. Deuces, y'all. I'm out.